anticipated video review you all have been expecting since the announcement of this two years ago. This is in fact the brand new, just released Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Thunder Megazord for ages 15 and up. Now, that being said, as much as I want to review this all in one go, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to split this up into a seven part mini-series. Now, why am I doing that? So I'm not having to take a lot of time into editing these videos and pretty much dragging this out and boring you all. So that said, we're going to take a look at one individual Zord each day this week, every day this week. So I'm pretty much going to go in the order of the way that they were actually revealed in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 2. So, it would be uh, the Lion Zord today, which we'll be looking at, but first we gotta start it off with the packaging, because that's the way I roll on this channel, so... It is a nice box, it, it pretty much captures the feel of the Legacy Collection so far, which is reminding a lot of us about our childhood because of the way it looks. It definitely resembles the, uh, the original design for the Thunder Megazord. Now, if I say Legacy Thunder Megazord when I'm talking about the original Zord, Please pardon me because I'm just that excited that I get confused every now and then if I'm talking about the original release or if I'm talking about this brand new release. So just bear with me. Anyway, from what you can see right here, which I'm going to have to move a little bit, we've got Legacy Thunder Megazord in its nice shiny gold foil like all the other Legacy releases. We got a nice image of the Legacy Thunder Megazord used right here. We got in the background some lightning bolts going on and some nice green lighting as well, which is cool. We got the five individual Zords all pictured up like a profile, which is very nice. Uh, we got also right here a little mention of the attack mode, which is all Zords combined into their like, you know, it's like a big stomping unit in a way because they all attach to one sled and then they drop on the monster like they did in the show and kaboom, he's done for. It does feature metallic paint and die cast parts, which is also nice. And flipping on this side now, we can also take a look at some information about the secret to the power zords. Hopefully this is all on camera, so there you go. There's that. Down here at the bottom, we have some stats on the Thunder Megazord in case you were interested in knowing uh, some information about the Thunder Zords, which is pretty cool. On this side over here, we got the basic story for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, yeah. There's a nice image of the Rangers. Just no White Ranger or no Green Ranger, which, you know, I can understand why. And on the back here, we've got a nice look at... Well, let me bring this down some so you can actually see everything here. We got a nice picture of Thunder Megazord, or should I say Legacy Thunder Megazord, because that's what this is. Uh, here's some uh, more specific information about the Zords, pointing out where they are here. Some red dragons right here, which is, I guess, accurate because it's actually pointing right down here where it would actually be all behind or all this nice armor. And then, of course, we got all the other Zords that it's pointing at. So, yeah, you, there you go. Big whoop. And then right here, we got a nice look at the Mega Tiger Zord, which will be coming very shortly in this mini-series. So, that's going to do it for the box. There's not really much to talk about, except that this is all your contents right here. It's a lot of contents that's all fit in this one small box. As a matter of fact, this box is two Legacy sets in one, when you think about it. The way that this is all scaled out. I would cut this in half and we would have like Dragon Zord and the Dino Megazord boxes right there. So it's two boxes in one. They were able to fit all five Zords in this one set, which is an improvement from the original release. I think I mentioned that earlier, so if I'm repeating myself, please excuse me. I'm just that excited to get into this. So let's go ahead and get to the reviewing station of this mini series because we're done with the box. Let's get to today's Zord. Okay, we're finally back five minutes into this video review, and now we're taking a look at the individual Zord. So here it is, the Lion Thunder Zord from the Legacy series, which 
is a beast. It really is. Now, obviously, this is the individual Zord that was piloted by Adam or originally Zack for a little bit of time. But if you're going by Dire Ranger, which I got no complaints, it was piloted by their Green Ranger instead of a Black Ranger. Originally, this Zord would be all black for the Mighty Morphin release back in 1994. So they've gone away with that and given us some real show accuracy here on both sides of bandai america i mean you know coming from the usa footage and the japanese footage we've got ourselves a very nice representation of what the zord looked like from both series so mighty morphin and you know dire ranger i think i said that right but it is heavy it is a gigantic beast well not as big as the red dragon thunder zord but we'll get to that at a later date but that said, it's got some heft to it, and that's because all this that you're seeing right here, all this I'm pointing at, all this silver, this armor bit here is actually made up of die cast. Everything else about this Zord is just plastic, but it's nice plastic. It's very sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. The connection into the arms of the Thunder Megazord and this bit for the chest piece is actually a nice connection. And you'd be very surprised too because you have heard some things about this already. But hey, it's doing a good job holding in for me. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here because when you detach this for the Megazord mode, it's only held in by this clip here and this hole here which uh, goes into this peg here and this hole right here. That's it. That's all that's holding this Zord together. And a lot of people have said that this does not hold too well, but as I'm showing you right here. You hear that shaking? It's not going anywhere. So I got a pretty good one. Results will vary from figure to figure as I've mentioned before sometimes on this channel. So everything that you think would be painted is painted 100 percent painted okay well i gotta take that back and i'll explain in a few minutes but right now everything is about 97 percent painted because that's the way that this legacy series works nowadays i mean originally for the dial megazord we got stickers this time we get painted zords which makes me wish they'd go back and redo the dino megazord and give us a more well-deserved legacy Dino Megazord, but hey, it is what it is. Still though, if I got any nitpicks about this Zord, it's two things. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and get to it. This does not roll one bit, not at all. It's got no wheels, not like the original, unfortunately. The original had wheels, this one does not. Uh, they couldn't take a little time in their budget to actually put in some working wheels here or here or here or here or here. Or maybe they think that it would just break up the detail. This nice detail. Very nice, might I add. But, hey, it is what it is. Also, I gotta say, let me throw in an extra nitpick. I do kind of miss this uh, compartment here that used to open up and you can fit five individual mini figures of the Rangers inside for Megazord mode. But hey, this makes it more show accurate. I mean, you didn't see the Rangers when they were battling in the Thunder Megazord unless it was an inside shot. But other than that, it is that green gem, which is very shiny, very metallic on the inside, which you can kind of see my camera and you're not seeing my face, which is nice. But hey, I'm not much to look at anyway. So, you know, there you go. There's not much else to talk about with this Zord. But... And that said, let's go ahead and get to the other part of this mini-series, which is I'm going to take the Zord from its actual individual Zord into its parts to the Legacy Thunder Megazord. Simple enough, let's go ahead and remove the obvious head, which is the tailpiece, flip this bit inside, and just set this aside for now. We'll get more into detail about it in the actual Thunder Megazord combination review. So, like I showed off before, take this off. Held in very nicely. So there's that. And then right here, we've got this bit. Flip up the lion's head. And then pop these suckers out. These clips right here are what's going to be used to hold the chest piece in place for the Red Dragon Thunder Zord. And a lot of people have said that these are actually flimsy and you run the risk of breaking them. I've had no problems whatsoever. Once I pulled this out and started messing with it, it seems to work just fine for me. So like I said, results will vary. Last thing to do, which we're going to get to the nitpick in just a moment, go ahead and flip out the arms. That's right, the lower arms are on the inside. Duh. You would know that if you had the 94 release. 
So there it is. There's the arms. Uh, we'll go more into detail about them and the difference in articulation in the Thunder Megazord combination review. So let's get to the final bit of this review, which is unfortunately a nitpick, and that is right here. This was not painted. There's no detail whatsoever right here, like there was in the actual Dire Ranger, you know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Thunder Megazord that was used on the set of the show. This would actually be the detail that would go all the way back here too, but I guess they didn't want to confuse people with which one's the left arm, which one's the right arm. Of course, you could go by the way it's the thumbs are positioned, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Not much to nitpick about. I'm not going to count it against this nice looking Zord, which is pretty much 97% painted, minus just that little bit of detail that was needed. Well, kind of needed, but not really. But anyway, that's going to do it for this part. I know this has gone on for too long, but trust me, it will get shorter with every Zord that I review because there's not much to go through with the aspects of the other Zords when we get to them because there's hardly anything they really can do and that's kind of uh, unfortunate for that. But hey, it is what it is. And we will continue this video review mini-series with the Legacy Firebird Thunder Zord in the next video review. So if you have any questions or comments you know what to do, leave it down in the comment section below of this video. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more video reviews from yours truly and to keep up with this video review mini-series. So, this is Sonic Ranger signing out. Thanks for watching and I will see you whenever you... You see me.